Hi there, it's Reed and Blue Bear. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the part two of the Island Batik trunk show, where I show all of the projects that I made as an Island Batik ambassador for the year 2023. If you'd like to see the projects that I made as an Island Batik ambassador for the year 2022, be sure to look for the video that's labeled part one, and I'll put a link to it down in the description down below. So the first project that I made in January was a puff quilt. And it's called a puff quilt because this is actually three-dimensional. Can you see how it's kind of puffy? And um, the way this is done is that each one of these is a little pocket. It has a top fabric, a bottom fabric, and then you take a, hand fill, a handful of um, fiber fill and you stuff it in there and then you sew this close as a channel and then you put the channels together and make the quilt. And so the fabric collection that I used from Island Batik to make this quilt is called Double Dutch. And if you'd like to see a video of how I actually made this quilt, um, there is one on the YouTube channel and I'll put a link to that video down below in the description. This next project was made in March of 2023, and it is called Teal Appeal. And it is a pattern that's available on my website at www.bluebearquilts.com. And the Island Batik collection that I used to make this particular quilt was called Tantalizing Teal. Now the way this quilt is made is it's made with uh, two and a half inch strips. And then I use the Creative Grids Corner Clipper Tool in order to um, make what are in effect half square triangles at the end of the piece. Um, it's kind of like the stitch and flip method, only I use that particular ruler in order to accomplish the, um, the effect. Um, I do have a tutorial on my YouTube channel where I'm making this quilt, so if you'd like to watch that, I'll have a link to that video in the description down below. I also teach this particular uh, quilt pattern as a workshop at Guilds, and I recently did that for a guild in Punta Gorda, Florida called the Peace River Quilters Guild, and that's a great group of quilters down there, so a shout out to all of them. In April, I made a Crazy Quilt Table Runner. And qu Crazy Quilt is where the pieces are kind of oddly shaped together, and then you actually stitch on the seam lines, and you can also stitch on the fabric as well with decorative stitches. And I'll show you the uh, stitching up close in just a little bit. Um, but um, this stitching was done with Aurafil thread, and it was uh, three pack that was called Passion Flower and it has uh, light, medium, and dark fabrics, or I'm sorry, threads in it. And so I used all three of those threads that were in a color builder pack from Aurifil called Passion Flower. And now through the magic of television, so here are some of the decorative stitches that I did on this Crazy Quilt Table Runner. And if you'd like to see a video of me making this table runner, I do have one on the YouTube channel and I'll link that video in the description down below. This is the Island Pop Table Runner. And I used the Island Boutique Collection called Maple Island to make this table runner. It is a beautiful fabric collection that has many natural elements in it. It looks like small little leaves and larger leaves. Um, almost looks like raindrops. Beautiful colors of like purple and teal and brown and green and tan and light blue. Almost looks like raindrops. This almost looks like bark on trees. And I used a particular ruler to make this table runner and it's the Studio 180 Corner Pop Tool. And it's another method of making these half square triangles. Again, kind of like the stitch and flip method, only this is a ruler that you use and it gives you perfect units when you um, use that tool. So again, I highly recommend using the Studio 180 tools and in particular for this one, the Corner Pop Tool. 
If you're interested in seeing how I made this particular table runner, I do have a video showing me making it and I'll link the description down below. As you can see, this was the year of the table runner and this table runner is called Twisted Tangle and it is made through a series of flying geese units and I used a particular ruler to make it. The ruler I used was the Quilt in the Day Mini Flying Geese Ruler and it allows you to make multiple flying geese unit at a time and uh, gives you perfectly trimmed up units when you're done. They're slightly oversized and you trim them up. Now the Island Batik collection that I used to make this was a pre-cut and it was 10 inch squares and it happened to be their Baroque collection and it's in all of these beautiful colors of darker purple and light purple and navy blue and a lighter blue and medium blues and uh, teals and turquoises and greens. Um, just a very bright and beautiful collection. Now this one is a pattern that's available on my website called the Twisted Tangle Table Runner. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you'd like to see a video of me making the Twisted Tango Table Runner, I have a video of me making it on my YouTube channel and I'll link it down below. I really wasn't kidding when I said it was the year of the Table Runner. This one could also be used, or other ones that I've shown you could be used as a bed runner. They don't necessarily have to be a table runner. And this one is called the Quilt As You Go Hexi Runner. And you can see from the back that it is um, all the same, and it is actually Quilt As You Go. There used to be a quilt pattern a long time ago called the Hickory Nut. And this is kind of done in that same method. Um, I cut out smaller hexagons and then the black is a larger hexagon and I cut out um, batting that's the same size as this top piece and then the black piece that's larger gets folded around as you go around the hexagon and then these hexagons get sewn together and they're basically just stitched like satin stitch on top of each other to put them together. So it truly is a quilt as you go. Um, if you're interested in seeing how I made this quilt or would like to watch a video of me making it, I do have one on this YouTube channel and I'll be sure to link it in the description down below. And the fabric that I used to make this for my um, August project was 5 inch strip rolls. Island Batik actually sells their fabric in 5 inch strip rolls in addition to 2.5 inch strip rolls. So there were some 5 inch strip rolls that I used to make this in these beautiful um, fall colors creating a fall runner. Blue Bear really likes this one and I do too. It's the September project and it's called the Out of This World Quilt and it's done with paper piecing which is good which allows you to get these really sharp points and I did um, something a different type of technique for the paper piecing on this one I actually used freezer paper and then you fold the freezer paper and iron the fabric to the freezer freezer paper and it made it really easy to make this quilt and you can actually use the same freezer uh, freezer paper template over and over and over again so it doesn't waste as much paper as the traditional paper piecing method. And if you'd like to see a video of me um, using that freezer paper method there is one on the channel and I'll be sure to link it in the description down below. Now the fabric that I used to create the Out of This World quilt was the Island Batik Pin Dot Floral Collection. And there are like tiny little dots in most of these fabrics and that's why it's called pin dot. But it's really beautiful bright colors, a very nice batik collection called pin dot floral. And uh, this eventually will be a pattern that will be available on my website for the out of this world quilt. This is my October project and it's the North Carolina Star Table Runner and it was an AccuQuilt project. This is the die for the North Carolina Star. It's um, the AccuQuilt Go North Carolina Star and it's so great because um, this 
die board basically cuts out all the pieces that you need to make the block. And so this is pretty much the traditional North Carolina star, but in the design I kind of did the um, coloring a little bit different, so it gives it kind of a spinning effect um, in the table runner. And there was no particular collection that was used. I just used batik fabrics that were in my stash for this particular um, quilt. My November project was to make a Patterns by Annie bag. And this one is called the Switchback bag. And here's what the pattern looks like. And I received a kit that had all of the fabric and all of the different um, accessories that you needed in order to make the bag. And this is such a great bag. It can be used as a backpack because it has two straps here that you can put on and use it as like a backpack like that. And then you can take and just pull on this strap right here. And then it has like a um, padded handle here and you can wear it as like a cross body bag like this or you could use it as an over the shoulder bag like this. And so it's a very versatile bag um, and the pattern is so easy to follow and it shows you how to make all of these straps, shows you how to make all of these flaps, how to put all of the different hardware on, all the buckles, and um, it's partially called the switchback because it has a color block design where you can see that the two fabrics here are the same and the two fabrics here are the same. And the same thing happens on the back where we have different fabrics that are going together. And this um, bag was made with the Island Batik uh, Porcelain Blue collection. And uh, there's a nice flap on the bag with a snap that will hold it closed. And then inside there is a little zippered pocket here on the front. And there's a nice pocket there. And then there's another big zipper opening in the center that when you open that up you have like baffle folds to hold things and a great big um, area to put whatever you need to put in the bag. So this is a great bag and the pattern was easy to follow called the Switchback Bag by Patterns by Annie. And it was the Island Batik Porcelain Blue collection that I used to make this bag. And this is my December project. It's called Winter Solstice. And I named it that because the Winter Solstice is the time of the year when uh, it is the longest day of darkness that we have and it starts the period where the light gets to be longer each day so it's a, it's a period of coming into the light. So there's a combination of the dark night here with the light that's eventually going to come and a beautiful collection of light, medium and dark blues. And the uh, fabric line that was used to make this from Island Batik again was called Porcelain Blue. Um, the same as what the bag that I just showed you was made with. And um, I didn't actually follow a pattern for this because I used a particular ruler called the X Block Ruler by Cactus Queen. And in that ruler, there was a drawing of this particular pattern. And I was able to use that drawing to put this into electric quilt and figure out where I wanted the colors and so that was how I actually made it. But there is a pattern that Cactus Queen has that's called um, UN, like U-N and then the word B-B-E and then weavable. So all of those are separated by hyphen UN hyphen B hyphen weavable. Um, and it looks very similar to this quilt. It's just it's in very bright colors. So if you would like to see a tutorial of me making this quilt, there is one on my YouTube channel and I'll be sure to link it in the video in the description down below. In 2023, I designed some quilt patterns for Island Batik to put in their 
uh, catalog of available fabrics and patterns. And this one is called RWB Boxes, which basically stands for Red, White, and Blue Boxes. And it would be a great patriotic quilt. Um, it would make a perfect Quilt of Valor quilt. And the fabric line that I use from Island Batik is called Red, White, and Blooms. And this pattern is available um, in my website at www.bluebearquilts.com. This pattern is called Spools and Swatches, and the fabric line from Island Batik is called Natural Healing. Um, it has very calm coloring in it, which I can see where they gave it that name, Natural Healing. And it almost looks like these fabrics might have like some herbs or something like that on it. It's like small little um, plants. And the reason why I call it Spools and Swatches is that through the design, this basically looks like a um, thread spool. And then this part of the quilt design looks like a swatch of uh, fabrics. So it's the spool and the swatch. And that's another pattern that I designed for Island Batik that will be available. This next one is called Brilliant Blue. And it's another uh, design that I did for Island Batik using their Porcelain Blue collection. And it's a series of square in a square blocks. And some of them are um, some of them are square and square, and some of them are flying geese units, as you can see over here. So there's just a, this beautiful collection of light, medium, and dark blues, uh, and it creates a very nice wintry-looking quilt. This quilt pattern is called Winter Wonderland, and the fabric collection from Island Batik is called Snowed In, and it also has a beautiful collection of light, medium, and dark fabrics. And um, this uh, quilt and the next one that you're going to see was quilted by um, Kim Pine of Sunshine Quilts in Tampa, and she did an excellent job. And the, it's, this one is called um, Winter Wonderland because it has like some beautiful pine trees that look like they have snow in them. There's some white deer here. There's beautiful snowflakes with dotted swirls, um, white dots that almost look like snowflakes. This looks like holly. It's just a real pretty fabric collection called Snowed In by Island Batik, and the pattern is called Winter Wonderland. Isn't this a fun little quilt? This one is called Midsummer Night, and the fabric line from Island Batik is called Fairy Floss. And I called it um, Midsummer Night because it kind of reminds me of that Shakespeare play with the little fairies that are in the woods. But it has all these beautiful colors and it's been accented by this um, black fabric. Super easy quilt to make. It's a stitch and flip method of making some of these half square triangles. And I hope you like it. So this pattern again is called Midsummer Night and the fabric line from Island Batik was called Fairy Floss. So I hope you've enjoyed this, which was part two of the um, Island Batik uh, trunk show. And if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell so that you'll be notified when I post future bid when I post future videos and um, again I hope you liked it and Blue Bear and I say bye bye and we'll see you next time.